Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Wednesday, September 7th. The Gospel passage for today's Daily Mass comes to us from the 6th chapter of St. Luke's Gospel. It reads, Raising his eyes towards his disciples, Jesus said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you and insult you and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven. For their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. But woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. Today's Gospel passage comes to us from the Sermon on the Plain from St. Luke's Gospel, which is very similar to St. Matthew's Sermon on the Mount. And thus these words remind us of the Beatitudes from St. Matthew's Gospel. But these words also end differently than the Beatitudes from St. Matthew's Gospel because of the woe statements. And the reality is, is that Jesus is not cursing or saying as if people are bad because of these realities of being rich, of being filled, of laughing of being well thought of and spoke well of. But what he's pointing to is, is that life can change. So just as those who are hungry, weeping, and are hated because of God's grace can be transformed into being satisfied and to laughing and also rejoicing in heaven because of bearing witness to Christ, those who are rich can also be poor. Those who are satisfied now can still hungry, be hungry for many things in this world. And especially if people speak well of you, you always have to be careful because they have an agenda. Or maybe in some senses it's false praise for any number of reasons. So the Beatitudes point to how God's grace can transform any situation in this world from these difficult, frustrating situations to something of the kingdom. These woe statements remind us that when things go against us, when things are truly changing because of the sinfulness of this world, we once again can trust in God's grace and his mercy. Because again, In those experiences, he will help us, support us, provide his grace and mercy. And that's where we have to kind of put on the mind of Christ in that we just have to try to navigate this world by doing God's will in all things. And I know that this this has been coming up in many of the daily reflections, but it is a key part of discipleship is that no matter what situation we find ourselves in, we just have to focus in a laser way on what does God want for my life and how can I better imitate Jesus Christ while following God's will. And yes, that takes time, it takes energy, it takes reflection, introspection, all those things. But also these words of Christ tell us that we don't have to worry because again, no matter where we are found in this world, if we have a heart and mind open to the Holy Spirit and the doing God's will, his grace and mercy will help us. Whether we're in the pits or whether we're at the height of praise and material wealth and other things always focused on doing God's will is the key and making sure that we stay focused on this throughout our lives 
as we strive to imitate Jesus Christ in all things. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.